The Prow Pullover is my newest top-down sweater, so let's take a look at all the yarn requirements, texture details, and sizing tidbits for this new sweater. The Prow Pullover is a really easy knit pearl pattern that starts at the top, and you'll find some similar details like the garter stitch short row neck shaping. It's really similar to my Dustlin sweater. So if you've knitted the Dustlin sweater that has this Gansey inspired collage of moss stitch, broken ribbing, diagonal ribbing, and garter stitch, it's the same type of fit and style and with the long ribbed cuffs. But the difference of this one is it's the same kind of moss, it's like moss stitch meets diagonal ribbing. So it's a bit bolder of a stitch texture than the diagonal ribbing in the Dustland. Dustland has this really little diagonal like bit that's always moving every round, but this one's a bit slower paced. It moves in wider blocks. And then every after every textured section, the textures zig, and then there's a little eyelet row, and then they zag. So with DK weight yarn, it goes quite quick to knit. Just follow your knits and purls. If you haven't done many sweaters before, you can totally tackle this one. It's pretty straightforward and the repeats are quite short. So the pattern repeats are quite short. So that means that if you want to knit your yoke longer after you've done all your increases, it's a short pattern repeat. So you could sneak in one more or two more of those zigzags to make your yoke a little longer or shorter. So just stop early or keep going with some more repeats in the pattern. And same goes for your sleeves and the body. So you can really customize the length to get really long sleeves, or you could stop early and do a little cropped sleeve option for your top-down knitting. So the pattern is designed in nine sizes. I'll put the sizes up here so you can see the range, but they go from a 35 inch bust circumference all the way up to a 67 inch. So that's 89 centimeters to 170 centimeters as the final circumference. Every time you see a measurement in my sweater pattern, that's the final measurement of the actual sweater and not of your actual chest. So for example, I chose to knit size five. I did size five of the pattern and that was a 50 inch chest circumference, but I'm a 44 inch chest circumference. So I'm a, a, I always like to choose a sweater where the actual sweater, the measurement listed in the pattern, I choose a number that's a little bit bigger than what I actually measure. And if you haven't done a sweater before, just take a tape measure under your armpit around your bust just put your arms down relaxed and see what it is. Maybe breathe in just a little bit to give yourself just a little extra wiggle room and then see how much you measure. Mine was 44, so I chose the 50 inch size. So there's about three inches or so, about 15 centimeters of extra ease on each side. And that means it's gonna be that nice, casual, comfortable fit. If you want it to be a little bit more fitted with not that much ease, then just make sure you're picking a number that's closer to your actual chest circumference. But I like mine a little bit looser, so I like to go six, sometimes even eight inches, 20 centimeters of extra wiggle room in my fit. So when you're doing that, you also wanna check your gauge, okay? So there's the gauge swatch listed in the pattern. You could do a little swatch um, for, for your sweater and make sure that you're at least close. But the great thing about top-down knitting is you can try it on as you go. Okay, don't finish the whole entire sweater without trying it on because then you don't know what you're gonna get. Okay, that's one of the best pieces of advice I can give you for getting sweaters that fit and it's something that I never do. So yeah, just eyeball it, okay? I just do my knitting and I go, yeah, that looks okay. I don't matter about the math too, too much as long as it's, yeah, it's a little bit bigger than my actual chest. It's gonna be a little bit cozy, but sometimes it's accidentally a little bit bigger but I always just say yes and don't stress. You know, it's knitting. You can always rip it out a little bit or knit your sleeve lengths a little longer, but uh, I'm really happy with the final fit of this one. And what I also love about the sleeves on mine, you wanna try that on as you go. There's gradual decreases here on the underarm and little stockinette stitch decreases. So try on that sleeve as you go. You don't wanna be halfway through your sleeve and feel that it's super, super tight, but you also don't wanna be down here and see that it's so super loose 
and then decrease all of a sudden. So keep it nice and gradual with that sleeve shaping, but I love this sweater having a fit with a little bit more of a fitted sleeve. So try that on as you go, and if you like that effect as well, I think that looks really nice and crisp and finished when your sleeve is a little bit more fitted, not too baggy, but then you have a nice casual drape in the body of the sweater. So follow the pattern. There's some nice links in there that help you show some of the techniques and uh, tricks that I use to knit the sweater. And if you're picking your yarn, my best tips for showing off that texture of the prow pullover is choosing a nice solid color. That's gonna help exaggerate the texture and a light color will help uh, make the texture pop for the most vivid texture. If you don't want a really light or uh, too light bright of a sweater color, then you could go with a darker color, but just know that the texture will be a little more subtle and shadowy, which is also really beautiful and sophisticated. But for example, a, co a color like corduroy, you'll, you'll still see the texture because it's a solid yarn, but the deeper smoky color will give you this more shadow, subtle effect. So definitely when you're going for darker colors, if you really want to see the texture, I would avoid doing a dark color and a variegated, or like a dark color and one of those really shadowy semi-solid colors, because then the texture, you won't really get to see as much the zigzag. You'll see that there's texture, but you won't see so clearly the lines. But it's your knitting. If you like it more subtle and you just want that vibe of texture, but you love that color of yarn that's a bit more busy and mixed or speckled, then go for it. You're gonna be wearing this beautiful little work of art. So when in doubt, go with like a light solid to really make your stitches pop out. So those are the details of the design. We've got the ribbing, the two by two ribbing on the cuffs and the collar. Every time I do sweaters, I kind of have a standard length of the collar that I like, but if you ever want it a little thinner, that'll give you a bit more of a scoop neck. So instead of doing the recommended ribbing I did, just cut that in half and do like a half an inch or three quarters of an inch, like one and a half, two centimeters of uh, ribbing. And then you could have like more of a scoop for your neck. And then colors, there's a lot of fun options for your colors. We did some kits at Stephen and Penelope. So all those will have our new colorways in them from Tandem. So these are all DK weight and non-superwash merino fibers from Tandem. So you can go to Stephen and Penelope and you just select your size and then we'll send you the exact number of skeins you need for your sweater. So every size might need a different number of skeins. So check that measurement, check the kind of ease that you want for your sweater, but just select your size and then we'll send you the right number of skeins. And there's a lot of really fun colors you can choose. This one is our original Norway colorway for like a deep teal prowl pullover. You could go a bit more saturated and more in the mid-tone range with green olive is a nice kind of medium toned color. More gain is another one that's not too light, not too dark. I think that slate blue would be really beautiful with the texture, the more gain. And those of you that like lighter and brighter types of colors, we have of course the white birch tree, the glass, is a really nice icy blue. And I think it would be fun to have like a pickle juice. I don't know if I'm not gonna do a prowl with pickle juice yet, but I, I need something. I need a full sweater with this color. Maybe something with cables. Yeah, I gotta, get, I gotta design a cabled pullover next. So those are some fun color ideas. It's the same color throughout. So make sure you really love that color. Make sure it's just really rich and saturated like the corduroy or just really fun. You'll be knitting with that one color for the whole sweater. So something like the fuchsia, just go with your favorite color, your gut instinct for that kit choice or for that yarn choice, and then cast on and enjoy all the easy textures. So I can't wait to see what colors you choose. And you can always share your progress on Ravelry and on Instagram with the Prowl pullover with all your yarn choices. So thanks for watching and all the details I'll put down below and we can learn some new techniques and get some more pattern ideas coming up with some new projects coming for you soon. So thanks for watching.